What's going on guys, Gaspard here and welcome back to the Platinum Wheel. So far we've platinumed these awesome games. So let's give this wheel a spin and see what we're playing next. Alright, come on, something sick. Ooh. Lies of P is a brand new Souls like that tells the reimagined story of the puppet Pinocchio. Set in the dark and eerie crap, this game draws heavy inspiration from games like Bloodborne and Sekiro. With fast paced and punishing combat, Lies of P is one I'm really excited to sink some time into. There are 43 trophies including the Platinum, and to achieve this we will need at least 2 playthroughs without any major mistakes, otherwise we might be stuck on doing a third. And also, this is a warning that will be showing off bosses, side quests and endings or at least some snippets, so if you want to avoid any spoilers, you should go watch one of my other videos instead. The story starts out with a nice message to the original creator of the source material. And then Pinocchio awakens, allowing us to start this platinum. We are given a choice to choose our build, so I pick the dexterity option, with a rapier which is incredibly fast and deals a lot of damage quickly. We move ahead into Krat Station Plaza and test out our new weapon. He's gonna get up, yeah. <laughs> Standard. Before we stumble upon our first trophy. Wake this guy up. Yeah! Let's go, fatal blow. To escape the station, we need to beat this guy to obtain a key, and it's in this moment, something clicked. Ooh, that's it. Can you just play a game and figure something out? So you, ooh, fuck yeah. With our new key, we escape the station and find our first stargazer. This game's bonfire system, and this happens. And we got a trophy. Repair a stargazer, let's go. As we're making our way through the plaza, we run into this guy, and I thought it'd be a great time to practice. I need to get good at that. That was bad. <laughs> we reach the first merchant of the game, and here you can buy the other weapons for the two starting classes we didn't pick earlier on. We need to obtain all 29 weapons for the normal weapon collector trophy. I buy these weapons and we move on to the game's first boss. What, what are we even fight? Oh. Oh my god. Seems pretty slow. What's he doing now? Oh my god, he's got his own head on a stick. Oh my god. Oh. It's faster now, he's faster. He's way faster. I bullied him and now he's got faster. Oh. Right. Triangle. Let's go. Let's go. Hold that first time. Let's go. Oh, we got a trophy. Let's go, man. Feel the parade mask. Oh, that's kind of fun. With the boss down, we head to Hotel Crap and we take part in our first truth or lie to enter. This mechanic is tied directly to two of the three endings. For this playthrough, we will be lying all the way through. Who are you? Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> there we go. Easy lie, that one. Inside the hotel, we meet Sophia, our maiden for the game. Damn, she's pretty, man. And after exploring the interior, it's time to move ahead to the next area. We make our way across the rooftops, and here we finally reach the inevitable. This definitely won't be the last time. No, 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 no! First death. Continuing on, and we find a letter that when read to the end, gives us the remembrance gesture. There are 17 of these gestures, and we need them all for a trophy. We run into our first dimensional butterfly of the game. These drop useful resources, and also we need to defeat three colours throughout the game to unlock the From Across the Rift trophy. We'll come back. Oh, we got Moonstone off him. A bit further ahead, and we find the Weeping Woman, who we need to accept a quest to find her baby and return it to her. We battle against this police puppet, and this happens. Oh, what's that? Destroy an enemy's weapon. Oh shit, he's got no weapon. We take down the mad donkey on the bridge. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. No! Oh! Clutch! <laughs> oh, we got a trophy. And we meet Geppetto, our creator. Jeez. Another feature in Lies of P is the ability to combine your different blades and handles to form weapons with different builds, characteristics and fable outs. When you try to combine your first set, this happens. That's great. Ooh. Tried to assemble a- well we didn't try, we assembled a weapon, but... 
We have to defeat this puppet, and behind is the weeping woman's baby. Oh, no. oh nice, that's the puppet. Before we reach the arena of the second major boss. That thing's horrifying. <laughs> Go. No. Come on. Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Scrap watchman. I mean it's pretty easy with the Spectre. And it helped. With the boss down, we return back to the weeping woman, who we now lie to, and she gives us a record. We need to gather 16 of these for the golden melody trophy. And again, as is the theme of this game, some won't be available until our second run. We introduced the P organ, which allows us to insert quartz and unlock different upgrades. We need to basically max this out to obtain the extreme potential trophy by gathering 25 quartz from various bosses and chests. Next up was sent by Geppetto on a rescue mission to save his friend Vanini. And Vanini works, we encounter a random phone ringing, we answer and have to take part in a riddle to unlock a trinity key. These keys unlock some fairly well hidden doors with safes inside to loot. Either answer will give you the key regardless, but we have to say human as we need to lie. We make our way through the factory and take on this double shielded boss. Yeah, this guy's getting clunked. We then make our way past some flaming boulders, and it's here we find the first trinity door which we have the key to unlock now. We need to open five of these doors to unlock a trophy. After we take down this shovel puppet, we can pull a lever, removing the corrupted floor surrounding this boss. With the corruption gone, this fight is really simple, it just takes a little while to chip at his health. We run into this stalker who gives me a little bit of trouble. All puppets must die. Every single one. I'm out, I'm out. No, no! Don't let me die like this. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Scam, scam. <laughs> Yeah, you stalker. I'm sorry. I'd been really upset to die there. And then we finally find Fanini who asks us to find his butler. Great. <laughs> Big old flame boss, I see. Oh, God. Is that even a puppet at this point? That looks more like a robot. We can do it, we can do it. Yeah, lovely. Hold that. Oh god, he's got a new one. Oh, sorry, we're out, we're out. Get him. Yeah, oh, that was actually pretty easy. Kill the king's flame, fuck off. We find the puppet butler and Vanini takes him back to the hotel. Here he opens up a shop which will be useful later on. We make our way through the horrible path of misery. Here there are enemies that cause decay. This status effect can make you lose health rapidly and also your weapon durability. The next area for me was even worse. Climbing the rafters and this kept happening. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, are you joking? Oh no 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 no, not the decay. Fucking prick. Eventually we reach a fire pit and we burn away the decay below. Get away, Mr. Decay. We meet quite a pleasant guy and unfortunately we have to lie to him in this playthrough. However, this is a man who we can trade boss ergo for special weapons. Another collectible we need for trophies. We'll grab all three available at this point and make sure not to grab any of the amulets. After some more exploring, we reach the next boss. Who's this donkey? Oh my god. Pretty cool looking, you know. Is that? Can hit him. You're done. Oh, 
what is happening? Second form or what? Um, yeah, okay, we just have to go for it. Not like there's a lot of fucking we can do. Nah, we're done. Bastard. <sighs> After our defeat, we return, and this time, we finish the job. Yes. Yes. Hold that. You silly fallen arch bitch, mate. <laughs> we take a cryptic vessel we grabbed earlier to Vanini, and he deciphers it for us in seconds, giving us a photograph of his secret location, and this one leads us to the bridge where we fought the Mad Donkey. We need to find six vessels for the Veteran Explorer trophy, and now that we have the map, we can easily find the safe. We just open this door. The safe we were looking for. Our doctors hunting the power on the courts. We head to the Marlin district, and this place is controlled by the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, a group of stalkers who are all very dangerous. We manage to cruise the level and reach the leaders very quickly. However, this fight is not what I expected. We ain't gotta fight all four of them, surely. Shit, man. How am I supposed to fight all of these guys? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god! Give me a break! Doesn't matter if we can't fucking survive it. Go on, Spectre. Huh. There's one. We got the trophy, nice. Killed the eldest of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Getting bum rushed by four of them is not nice. We also find a pretty suspicious painting that we can take to Geppetto for a gesture. It's a pretty cool tree. Gold coin fruit. Oh, bad gold coin fruit. I expected to see the gold coin tree in a place Sweet. like this. Returning to the hotel when we get the key to Rosa Isabel Street, where the King of Puppets is said to reside. This place can be annoying at times. First of all, there are enemies that charge you and explode, and also this horrible room. Fuck that baby. Oh man. This is unpleasant. As we're traveling through the area, we run into this. Count as harsh, man. No, no, not like this. That is so unfair, man. I got corner trapped. And I died like that. <laughs> Unfucking real, man, this game. This fight was a slight reality check for me. It made me start to pay a lot more attention. After a few deaths to her, we do finally take her down. There we go, finally. She caused me a lot of problem. It's here we meet Julian the Gentleman, and he asks us to retrieve his wife from the burning streets ahead. Naturally, we accept. We find the puppet and take her wedding ring back to Julian. Now we have to lie to him and he gives us the ring and some other goodies. This next boss to me is infuriating. I hate its mechanics and its reach and overall it's just not a nice boss to fight. The whole location is surrounded by rangers and you're constantly being bombarded by shots and bombs. However, you can drag the boss alone up this way, towards the next stargazer, giving us a more open and quiet location to do what needs to be done. After around 30 minutes of constant deaths, I finally beat the absolute pain in my ass. Nice, fucking finally. That guy was a nuisance. Now if you thought decay from earlier is annoying, you should try corruption. The Estelle Opera House is full of annoying puppets that fill your corruption gauge so fast. Once this is full, you die instantly. The spiders here are particularly frustrating to deal with, as evidenced by this. Fucking hell man, get a life. We reach the boss of the area, Romeo, and this one is a step up in my opinion. I'd say this is the first place I actually walked, and I had to shut the game off for a break. Even with a spectre, the fight is difficult, although the first phase does go down quite easily, but surprise, surprise, like the rest of the bosses in this game, we have a second phase, and this phase is absolutely insane. Joe, he's got a scythe. Oh, 
Because that those blocks are nasty. No, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> oh, fuck it. So close, man. After numerous attempts, we finally get ourselves a bit of luck. No way. One more hit. You're not getting away from me this time. Yes! 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 Finally. King of Muppets, mate. Not King of Puppets. Fuck that guy. Absolutely fuck that guy. And with Romeo finally defeated, we can take his soul to Aladoro and unlock the second best technique weapon in the game. And whilst we're here, it's important to note that each of the major characters at the hotel has their own quest lines to follow, so I'll be working on those in the background. Most of them require just the right dialogue options and having humanity from lying a lot helps. The next chapter takes us through the Lorenzini Arcade, and we find the Golden Butterfly, which is the last one we need for... Come on. There we go. Oh, we got a trophy. Is that all three of them already? Yeah, all three dimensional butterflies. And we got the new moonstone we need to level up. During each level, you also encounter various mini-boss enemies. Honestly, some of these are just such a massive shock the first time you fight them. Oh! I'm stuck. I literally got stuck. But usually, the second attempts go like this. Who's he fighting? Wake up, mate. <laughs> We ride the cable car and reach the Grand Exhibition Gallery, and we also find a woman here called Belle. We need to talk to her now, before we beat the boss, so she goes back to the hotel. If you don't speak to her now, you're locked out of her quest line until another playthrough. Before we reach the boss, we run into our first alchemist. These enemies are humans infused with ergo, led by an even crazier alchemist. This is where evolution becomes real! Yes! I really thought that was... Oh, there we go. Come on. Yes. First time. Yes. First time. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. First time after that fucking last one. Yo. What is that? After we have him beat, he takes a spear to the back from someone who's going to be a major problem for me later on. And also we meet Simon for the first time. Who the fuck is that? I won't show all of the side quests, but Antonia has the petrification disease. And we can cure her using the golden tree fruit. This is quite important as if you don't, she'll die and lock us out of her trophy. In this swamp, we find Aladoro again, and back at the hotel, Eugenie the Weaponsmith asks us to deliver him a gift. This is directly tied to her trophy. However, because we're lying this playthrough, it is locked into a new game plus. But I thought I'd just mention it here. You ready, guys? Yeah. It worked! <laughs> it actually worked! I apologise in advance to your eyes, but this next boss is grotesque. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's horrifying. We deal with his first form with help from our spectre friend before he transformed into an even bigger monstrosity. Fuck. <laughs> I was hoping the trophy would just pop. What is this fucking thing? <laughs> Mate, the monsters in this are weird as fuck. Ah, oh, man. Do I get the cocky? Yes! <laughs> Again, we return to Aladoro and trade in our boss soul, this time for the Twin Dragon Sword, the best technique weapon in the game by far. And I want that. And we got modify a legion arm to its max level. Nice. The next chapter sees us roaming Kratz station again, 
but this time it's for the stronger enemies and a different layout. We beat the scorpion enemy which took a little bit of patience. And we head back to the hotel and unlock our final legion up here. Aegis, we didn't get Aegis. There we go, Aegis. And that's the legion arm collector for collecting all legion arms. Let's go, man. And we also grab the extreme potential trophy too. What's that for? Oh, we've got to pro phase five already. Thankfully, the next boss is a lot easier. The Corrupted Parade Master is a rehash of the first boss, except it now has the decay effect. This is a nice breather from all the craziness lately. Did we get him? Yeah, fuck you. We're back at the hotel now and the stalkers have stormed the place, trashing everything and kidnapping Geppetto. And although I'm not using it anymore, I level up the rapier to level 10 for Wintry's Rapier Blade, and we now have the strongest normal weapon, which is good, but I don't really use it anymore. So. And also if you found Belle earlier on, she goes to the hotel and asks us to find her partner Atkinson. We head to Krat Central Station, and here we find an infected man. Make sure you do not kill him. He gives us a letter to return to Belle, and we got a record off her for that. Now it's time to rescue Geppetto. This next area is incredibly short and we're thrown into a boss fight with the entire brotherhood this time. It's not as bad as it sounds though, as each has a separate life bar but they don't carry too much health. Honestly this fight wasn't too much trouble, especially compared to what's coming up soon. Need one more hit. There we go. Revenge of Black, kill the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. We have made it now to the final chapter, and honestly every enemy here is annoying and hits super hard. We're greeted by Sophia, who will be directly tied to a few endings very soon, before we make our way across this strange landscape. We take on the Door Guardian, and it seems like you don't do much damage to him. However, if you keep attacking the right leg, he will fall, and the fatal attack deals massive damage, making this fight very easy. Back at the hotel, when we upgrade the Twin Dragon Sword to level 5. Strongest special weapon, let's go. And at this point, we've now completed four out of five Trinity doors. It's here we can finish the final door and meet the puppet master behind the riddles. And we've found the final room. What the hell? End of riddles. Discover all Trinity sanctums. This reminds me of... I'm watching Pluto, if anyone's seen Pluto or read the manga Pluto. And there's like a robot tied up there. Is this him? Oh my. Mad. Factual, factual guest. <laughs> I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. We learn some backstory about Vanini here, and this enables us to finish up his quest line. Thank you for this. Talk about closure. And there we go, the story of the prince. So that's Vanini's quest line wrapped up and done. We also complete the last cryptic vessel. This one we need to equip the Frozen Feast Sword to trick the merchant into dealing with us. Who are you? Oh, is it Mr. Frozen Feast? That weapon's ridiculous. Are you only the meeting spot, not the client. I apologise for not recognising you. Here's the item you wanted. I made it just like the uniform of that conceited stalker. Hope you like it. Hope you like Looking it. Looking forward to more discreet transactions, if you catch my meaning. Red Fox is hunting apparel, and we got the Veteran Explorer Trophy for deciphering all cryptic vessels. And with the cleanup out of the way, we can take on this. God. <laughs> Good luck, me. Phase one? There's definitely a phase two for that. There's no way. Oh my god, boys. We're in fucking trouble here. I have to quit better gear. There ain't no way. Oh, I'm dead. That's probably the biggest waste of a star fragment yet. I'm taking a break.
Oh, man. After many defeats, I managed to take her down and I didn't press record in time. So unfortunately, I had to grab the footage from the PlayStation. But now laxation has gone, we can grab the final weapon we need for the normal weapon collector trophy. It will buy it. And there's the final weapon for the normal weapon collector trophy. Let's go, baby. I'm back at the hotel. Antonia's passed away now, peacefully, finishing up our quest line. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness, bravery, and beautiful moments you showed me. Oh man, that was actually really sad. Find out about the last story of Antonia. So it was at this point I decided to make a decision to make this platinum considerably easier. You can get all three of the endings using backup saves on PS Plus Cloud Service. Doing this means I'll have to play New Game Plus all the way until we beat Laxatia again to get the final record that we need. But it means that we can also skip the two hardest bosses in the game on New Game Plus just by fighting them twice now. So that's my plan for now. We make a backup save and start working on endings. Oh snap. So for ending number one, we find Sophia locked up and we have to make a choice here. Up. Yeah, we need to let her live the good ending first. Save me. But we'll let her live. Help me. Sophia. This interaction unlocks the last gesture that we need. Yeah. And we got the on entry and that is the learn about learning about emotions, learn all gestures. And then we climb the castle and make it to Simon Manus, who is now transformed. Looks horrible. This is Ergo. Is it not magnificent? Who will transgress? Even God! Get on with it then, Simon. And as to be expected, his first form goes down without a hitch before he turns into this guy. <laughs> oh, get on with it, mate. Damn it. Not bad for a first attempt, to be fair. Little did I know I was going to be here for a while. Oh, man, I was doing pretty well. To be honest, it wasn't much worse without the fucking thing anyway, so... I can't beat him, bro. Come on! Come on! Yes! Simon Manus is down, baby. Oh, God, that one was pretty long. I've spent about an hour just going at him now. After we beat him, he asks us a question, and it doesn't matter which answer you pick, but this gets us a trophy for learning about Simon. And there's the story of the one who something. Find out the last story of Simon Manus. That's basically two and one. Now, for the first ending, we take the elevator down, and Geppetto asks us to give him our heart, to which we refuse, awakening this absolute nightmare and the toughest boss by far in the game. This guy beat me over and over and over. He is so fast, unpredictable, and honestly, there were times where I almost gave up, until this run happened. No! Yes, I beat him, I beat him, I beat him. Fucking over, part one. It's over, part one. Yes. I. No. You're just a useless puppet. Well done. Free from the puppet string, reach the ending. So at this point now, we are to... 
load my backup file and go again. So what's the plan then? So first of all, we need to return to Sophia, give her a piece to start the next ending, climb the castle, kill Manus, sorry Manus, reach Geppetto, give up our heart and have a nice cold pint and wait for it all to blow over. We get the bad ending here and the second ending trophy too. Real boy. They all lived happily ever after. So that's the bad ending. Before we reload the file again, we have to go back to the hotel at the New Game Plus menu, and here we can read Geppetto's final letter, completing his storyline. So, um, you know, there we go, the story of one father. Find out the last story about Geppetto. And with all that done, we reload this file one more time. Just before our decision with Geppetto, we refuse to give up our heart for a second time here, forcing us into another fight with a nameless puppet. Who this time I take down, I grab the final ending, and this is the best ending you can obtain. Were you going to destroy Carlo's heart? So this is the best ending now. Apparently. Very pleasant, peaceful ending. Oh. Oh. Well, that was beautiful. And that's the final ending. Rise of P. Reach the ending. Let's go. So before New Game Plus, we need to play the piano in the hotel for this new trophy. Yo, he's well good. <laughs> That was actually beautiful. Fair play to him. It's better than me. And that's the pianist of Krat. Play a perfect tune on the piano at Hotel Krat. And we can also read Sophia's final letter. And there we go, the story of the blue butterfly. And the last thing I decided to do now is listen to all the 10 records I've obtained so far. You need to listen to them all the way through, and this will give us even more humanity points, which we need for this final trophy of the playthrough. Look at that bad boy. So once you have enough humanity and you've done everything, we can get the final special weapon, the golden lie. Let's go. We tell Eugenie about her brother unlocking us. And finally, we listen to all of the records unlocking us the platinum trophy.
So there we have it guys, the platinum is complete and this was a really tough and enjoyable experience. I'm by no means great at these games, but I have beat most of the Souls games and this one's definitely one of the harder ones at times. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to let me know by smashing those buttons down below. That's it from me today, take it easy, Gaspard out.